Okay, this is part two. We are looking at general strategies for students in your class who are English language learners. And these are strategies for uh, a gen ed teacher, English language learners, or English as second language. That's not really accurate because for some students it may be their third or fourth or fifth language. So, some general tips. None of them should be done singularly, but they all work together. First, learning. You want to create opportunities for social interaction. Things like simple games, cooperative learning activities, turn to your neighbor and share an idea, small group speeches, creative dramatics where they may not have a speaking role. All right? You want to use, and this is nothing new, but visual aids or props to the greatest degree possible during instruction and as part of pre-reading activities. Simple pictures or diagrams, models, drawings, or props. You want to make the language as concrete and understandable as possible, so you're providing visual images to connect words and concepts. You can use digital cameras and PowerPoint and other stuff, technology, to make learning multi-modile and to create some of these pictures and things. You want to have predictable classrooms and routines so they know what to expect, what it is, and it's easier to connect words and concepts and experiences if they know lunch is lunch every time they start to connect it up. Something as simple as using gestures along with pictures and instruction. Graphic organizers, which is a visual display of information presented uh, in the lesson or before the lesson so students can begin to see the relationship, interrelationship of concepts or ideas. And again, you're making learning more concrete using outlines, tables, graphs, charts, pictures, whatever. Here's a nice graphic organizer. You can put words with pictures to make it even more multimodal. Here's another uh, graphic organizer, another graphic organizer, and again, to make it even better, you would probably put pictures with these words. Use advanced organizers, and that's a graphic organizer given before the lesson or before reading the story. So students know, uh, get the sense of the structure as what is to be learned. And by the way, these things are good strategies for all students, but also students who uh, have learning disabilities or difficulties. Uh, and again, so they can see what is happening before. Use a first language, their language, to preview the upcoming story or lesson or review the story or upcoming lesson. You can use, um, if you have a teacher or a translator, they do have some programs that translate things from English to other languages. They're not very accurate, but at least they are something. They do this with both speaking and there's free online programs to do this with written language. And finally, using centers, learning centers in the classrooms, this isn't finally, but they can be adapted to meet the needs of students who are English language learners. Learning centers where they go to learn specific skills. Okay, And then five big ideas to end with. Provide structure. Advanced organizers use visual clues, use their first language or language one, clues, previews, overviews, or reviews, and then opportunities for social interaction. These are not big ideas, and these are ideas that are good both for English language learners, but learners with learning difficulties or learning disabilities.